for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd, we're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah! Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Third down to give. Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over oh. a thousand yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked down! Don't be in wide open net. Too easy right there. Molly Chapman, she'll take off from the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin. Here we go. And it goes! The pin flies! That would win it for Warren Hill. Great senior night ceremony here at Lindby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. Oh, 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 Edwards oh, 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 oh. wins it. First game of your conference schedule. So good, and we're all so pumped and just happy to look at this. Head up the head tonight on more Sussex. <laughs> And welcome to Regan Field here on the campus of Del Barton in lovely Morris Township, New Jersey, as Big State Sports presents High School Boys Lacrosse, and it's a big one out of the Fitch Pit Division as the host Del Barton Green Wave come in a record of 3-1, and one, and they are first game in the Fitch Pit this year. They're 3-0 in the NJAC American Division under their veteran head coach and Hall of Famer Matt Kovacic take on the Summit Hilltoppers who come in a record of 3-1, one and one in the Fitch Pit with their lone loss to a very good Westfield team who I'm sure Summit's going to see later on in the year in the Union County Tournament. And they're led by another class act and Hall of Famer, Jimmy Davidson, been there 25 years, 11 state titles, 450 wins coming into this season. As good as it gets when it comes to lacrosse when you have these two programs going at it, especially the two guys that run the program. Good afternoon, everyone. A little dreary day here in Morris Township, but we have this beautiful facility here at Del Barton. Again, I want to thank everyone at Del Barton for their great hospitality. Athletic Director Tony Negro, appreciate everything he does. And this game is being brought to you. Actually, I want to give you our game time temperature. Not as nice as it was yesterday, but still 63 degrees here in Morris Township. And that is brought to you by ICS. Keeps you warm when you're cold and keeps you cold when you're warm. And go to ICS, ICSHVAC.com for more information. We want to thank them for sponsoring our game time temperature. This game brought to you by Q4 Lacrosse. From local, private, and small training to national recruiting events, Q4 Lacrosse is your home for lacrosse development. Start training with us today to improve your skills and confidence. Attend one of our events this summer to learn from top NCAA coaches 
Learn more at www.q4lacrosse.com. Garden State Lacrosse Cup features top players from around New Jersey. Try out for your regional team in June to compete for the championship in July. New divisions for middle school, boys, and high school girls, along with our upper class and underclass boys division. Sign up for tryouts at GardenStateLacrosse.com, and I believe we're going to have the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Cocosiello Field at Del Barton School for today's varsity lacrosse matchup between our visitors, the Summit Hilltoppers, and your Del Barton Green Wave. At this time, we please ask that you stand, remove your caps, and face the flag as we honor the playing of our national anthem. All right, National Anthem, and we'll finish our sponsors for today's game. Tri-County Orthopedics, the most preferred and recognized and awarded orthopedic practice in the region. Go to www.tricountyortho.com to learn more. And Jag Physical Therapy is a proud partner of Q4 Lacrosse and your trusted in-network resource for physical and occupational therapy services with over 115 convenient locations throughout New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Their team of experienced clinicians and specialty services is just what you need to get back the life you love. For more information, go to jagonep.com. Going to bring in my partner, former college coach and well-known throughout the local lacrosse circles, Matt Clank. Matt, thanks for coming today. Dan. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. Appreciate you know it. both of these guys, Jimmy Davidson, Matt Kovacek. These two teams met twice last year. They meet every year. But last year, 4-3 win in the regular season for Del Barton, a battle defensively. Then in the first annual Curse Cup, a big win. Summit jumped out to an early lead, held on for a 10-8 victory. But these two teams, when they play each other, defense is the name of the game. Talk about that. No doubt. Uh, I think these, guys, these two teams set the standard, quite frankly, for New Jersey lacrosse uh, every year. Um, these games are tight. Um, I think it comes down to, like you said, the defensive end and you know, the limiting of the mistakes um, throughout, the, throughout the field. Um, you know, uh, handling the ball, certainly on a little bit of a wet day here today. Uh, that could be a little bit of an issue as we might get some rain. But uh, you know, I think it will come down to defense. Some, you know, who can make some saves, timely saves. Um, as well. Uh, so, you know, I think it comes down to the little little things here today um, in this game and who's going to come out on top. Some of you being the visit Maroon, Del Barton, the whole white, and you talk about the keepers. Robbie Keevitt last year as a freshman was stood on his head and got Summit into the Curse Cup final where they lost to Group 4 champ Ridgewood. Summit won another Group 2 title last year. But Keevitt came in and did a great job this year, 33 saves, 12 goals against, and then against Mountain Lakes, in the game you saw here on Big State Sports, Patrick Rolke was outstanding. He had nine saves in the 6-5 win over Mountain Lakes, but they both have great defenses. Summit always known for it. You look at their long poles, number 34, Carter Shalcross. He's going to Washington to lead number 43, John Conniff, a sophomore, number 48, Quinn Dillon, a senior, the long pole. Luca Avellino, that's a well-known name in Summit lacrosse circles. Also short stick midi, Luke Harris, he's going to LIU. He's number 22, Avellino, seven. And uh, Luke, Lucas Koha, number 20, terrific defensive midfielders and long poles for this team. They're only allowing four goals a game. 
They beat Glenbridge 13-4, lost to Westfield 5-3, beat Cranford 17-5, and Scotch Plains Fanwood 11-2. And on the attack, you got Daniel Flame, number six, going to Villanova. Five goals, 11 assists. He had a great junior year helping them win that Group 2 title and get to the Curse Cup Finals. James Granger back after a good freshman year, four goals, six assists, number four. Cole Sable, seven goals, four assists. He's number eight, and you'll see number 14, Will Icovelli, uh, at on the attack. And then on the face of Jay Welkis, the senior, after the great Jake Renero, who's playing at Drew right now, was tremendous last year. Jake, 30 of 56 for 54%, and he's going to get against one of the best around. And he's got, he actually, he'll see two of them right now. That is Ryan Trafford taking the face off. He's 50%, 20 of 40. So you also see taking uh, face offs as well. Uh, as we're about ready to get underway. Trzinski as well, Christian Trzinski, number 14. So we are underway, so who's gonna win that first? And it's Trafford on the run, the Navy commit with the shot, Keevan with the save. And we're, we're off to the races already, Matt, first shot of the game. There we go, we said that that was gonna be a big part of this game, uh, those saves. Like to see that shot go low there. Uh, it's not a bad take, but you need to put that shot low. We'll give you to DeBarton. On the attack, you got Willie Doyle, last year's MVP of the Morris County Tournament, number 28. Six goals, two assists. He's going to Amherst, a turnover. Another chance here. <clears throat> Del Barton will get it back. Asher Tester going to Colgate, six goals, two assists, number 17. Bobby Cusimano going to Air Force, number 42. You saw Trafford, number one, in midfield. Jack Sotori is number two. He's going to uh, Williams. He's got three goals. Jack Amato had a hat trick against Mount Lakes. He's got three goals on the season, number 22. Andrew Johnson. Number 13, uh, Peter Falk, number 88, terrific midfielders as well. And uh, this great defensive, we talk about Summers' defense coach. John Finkeldy's going to Lafayette, number 77. And then you got the short six middies, Nick Rispoli, 10, Will McGinty, uh, 16, who had a great basketball season, winning the Morris County Tournament. Gabe Ryder, number 33, he's going to Washington to lead. Bo Popham, and a shot and a goal, and Del Barton will take the early one that they lead. And we'll take a look at that. Coach, take us through that replay. Yeah, Dan, we see a nice little dodge down the alley here. Uh, Summit does kind of slide adjacently with, with some good timing there. Just uh, didn't lead with the body there, which got which allowed the offensive uh, man to get by him for that shot, which he, you know, I talked about that first shot. But they sure, certainly bury that low in a way on that second shot, um, which gives them a chance to beat this good goaltender. All right, Jack Sartorius with the goal, his fourth of the season, and the Green Wave have a one nothing lead. And another win there, coming up to scoop up the ground ball for the Green Wave, Will McGinty, and the Green Wave will go back to work. And we want to finish up that defense, number 99, Bo Popham, who had a big ground ball win in the win over Mountain Lakes. He's number 99. He's, going, he's committed to Notre Dame. Will Pedicano going to Virginia, number 11, and number 55, Liam Larson, a senior. As we said, an in goal, Patrick Rolke, who was tremendous in the win over Mount Lakes. Del Barton, as we said, coming in, three and one. Beat Mount Lakes, 6-5, beat Randolph, 13-5. And they lost to St. Anthony's Long Island. There's a turnover, we have a whistle, a push. One of their, the great schedule Del Barton plays, they lost to, to uh, St. Anthony's, 13-5. Bounced back to beat Pope John the other day, 12-3. And the cool thing about that win over Pope John, coach, 12 different goal scorers. That's pretty even. <laughs> well, we like to see that as a, as a coach. Uh, spreading the wealth there, everyone's involved. Uh, just keeps everyone involved and, and fresh and ready to make a play. Uh, you love to see that as a coach. Luke Carrillo, number seven, he'll be out there as an offensive midi. Terrific energy guy, does a great job for where Bill Barton. Ground ball, who's gonna get to it? Battle for it. And it will be, for the moment, Summit, but good battle there. Gabe Ryder, number 33. When I see 33, I think of Jake Melchione, who's playing at Villanova. It was a terrific long stick midi for this Del Barton team for several years. It's certainly a, a pipeline from this area down to Villanova. Over Absolutely, here, Coach Corrado, he just comes here and just picks everyone from Morris County. Right now, he's got David Link, Jake Melchione, Jack Serza, and Trip Robinson just from Del Barton. The summit will go to work.
Again, Summit won their fourth state title in the last five years last year. Del Barton won the North A at uh, the non-public A. Shot saved by Rokey and a classic triple overtime win. What we're seeing all prep will stay here with the Hilltoppers. Hands free, Rocket on the bounce will stay here on the back of. And forever ingrained at Del Barton lacrosse history, Nick Facone scoring a triple overtime after winning the faceoff to beat the Pirates. And I'm, they will see those guys again in the regular season and I'm sure it's somewhere down the road in the non-public playoffs. Coming around the corner, it goes wide. Who's gonna get there first? It will be Summit. Coach Summit, Jimmy Davis is known for that defense, but they always have opportunistic and smart offensive sets. Talk about that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, they're just not gonna make mistakes a lot of times with the ball. Right now you see them in this double invert with two short sticks. Like the last uh, go they had there with going around top side there, taking a good shot, just missed wide. Bo Pop a good defense there, the long stick. The pole going to Notre Dame, committed there. Defending national champs in NCAA. Who are coming east this weekend, coach. They're gonna play Cornell, which has a Del Barton flavor with CJ Kirsten and Mike Long, the captains, playing at LAU on Sunday. I like imagine half of Del Barton be heading out to the island this we weekend. Tend, we tend to see a lot of uh, players from both programs in these college programs and these high level college programs. So it's, uh, it's always nice to see every game I watch, I'm seeing a Del Barton or a Summit uh, young man. Absolutely. Jake Lowry was a terrific player for this Summit team playing football at the University of Chicago. Kid's just a terrific athlete. Oh. Jack Holmes is at Skidmore, Thomas Koha at Catholic University. Working his way in, good defense again, but you can put that on repeat when you talk about some good that's, defense. That's for sure. Trying to get free, shot and a goal and a rip there by Andrew Johnson. And Del Barton has a two nothing lead. What'd you see there, coach? Once again, I, 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 I isolate the shot. Uh, yeah, these, are, these are good strong takes with, with you know, high to low finishes. You see these players that are going on to play college, big time college uh, lacrosse eventually, you know, and, and that's what these programs are looking for. Guys that are going to make the right shot at the right time, and that's what you just saw there. That's a, you know, that's not goal, yeah, that's not bad goalie play right there. That right. is just excellent technique with his shot. And obviously the Curtis Cup, named after the late great Kyle Curtis, who was a long time defense coordinator for Jimmy Davidson at Summit. Everyone knows about his sons all over the place playing college and professionally now his youngest is at Bernard's and he is committed to go to Kyle's alma mater, Rutgers. Off the turnover, can someone get something going here? Lucas Kohat, big part of them getting to the Curse Cup final. That was a great game last year at Basilone Field in Bridgewater. Coach Appel from Bridgewater and Tim Flynn from Mountain Lakes, the living legend, putting that together and they're doing it again this year. It just shows, Coach, how special the cross is. It is the best. Uh, it's been a huge part of my life and uh, as a lot of people's lives up in, the, up in North Jersey. I mean, just, it's just great lacrosse, and you know, we all love it. This is McSini. A veteran back, senior, two goals this year, playing going to Vermont. Off this pick, stays with it. Good slides here by Del Barton. They'll double him up, try to get rid of it. Loose in front, and that'll roll back to Rolke. Great defense by Del Barton. Jack Amato will bring it up. Again, had a monster game against Mount Lakes. That 6-5 win. That was a great game, Coach. Came right down to the very end. Lakes had the ball with 30 seconds left. Just another game. Just that, another, in that rivalry. You look at these programs from Mountain Lake, you add Mountain Lakes to the, to the mix. It's just, uh, they always seem to be one game, one goal games that come down to the end. And Mountain Lakes being a group one school and doing what they do is just incredible. Yeah, Timmy's the best. So patience here, Carrillo waiting to get his personnel on. Jack Sartorius, who had the first goal. As we're approaching five minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Hey, that first face-off was brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. We want to thank them. Check out their great selection of vehicles for under $15,000. They have your back at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Not too far from here. Trying to get free. They dump it off to the back. 
And a good scoop up there. That was Cruz Amato going to the Air Force Academy. Amato dumps it off. Good defense there, Carter Shalcross. He was part of that defense last year with Jake Lowry, Justin Anderson. Just a tremendous defensive unit. And Carter, a great football player too. This is Carrillo back up top. Sartorius. Carrillo thought about it, pops out. Battle for that ground ball. And we'll have a push. And it'll be a summit ball. How big are they? I mean, ground balls are big in every game. Let's state the obvious, but when you have two evenly matched teams, that could determine the outcome. I think it does. A lot of times when you look at the ending, you know, where what was that ground ball battle? What did it look like? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you're going to start to see these, these ground balls become even more precious as the game goes on um, with who starts to take advantage of the game with you know, co coinciding with those ground balls. Luke Harris with Will <laughs> Pedicano all over him. And the one thing you're going to know about this summer team, even though they're down 2-0, there'll be no panic. Not at all. No. They're, they're not going to beat themselves. No. They're going to they're gonna play a full game here um, and, and get what they want offensively and not be uh, deterred at all by what the scoreboard says. Trying to get a running start. Jack Freeman. He's going to get picked up defensively by Will McGinty. Granger. Smart offense here. Making Del Barton slide. 314 to go. The way these two teams play defense and how clean they are with no penalties, you could they're playing this game right now like they're double parked. <laughs> Just, this first quarter is flying. Back up top, hands free, but he's gonna send it over to the wing. Bringing it in, trying to dump it in, a save by Rolke. Good attack there by Cole Sable, but we'll stay here with the Hilltoppers. Back at X. Good defense by McGinty. And, and no shock, good basketball players are good lacrosse players because they can use their feet, and McGinty's a very good hoops player. Send it back up top, hands free, shot, saved by Rolke. Shades of what he did against Mountain Lakes. Battle for the ground ball, flinged up. Who's going to get to it at the 50? It's going to roll back in. And a good win there on the ground ball, but we'll have the whistle, and it will stay with Bill Barton. But Gabe Ryder doing a nice job, 33. Guzmano. Sends it back. We were talking before the game, Coach, about how many different looks Coach Davidson throws at you, zone with man principles. and Yeah, like you said, it's, 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 they, they do such a good job on the defensive end. And, you know, they are known for, you know, zone. But I think, you know, the misnomer is that it doesn't you know, uh, have uh, individual and, and uh, concepts, you know, uh, man-to-man -man principles, uh, and that's what you see. And they all, the support systems are just so incredible uh, in, in terms of what Summit does defensively. So keep it with the save, and there was no better defense in the state of New Jersey in 2009 and 2010 when they won 60 straight and back-to-back TLCs. Unsettled, dumps it off, Cusimano on the doorstep. And it will be Summit Bull, they got there first. So an opportunity unsettled for Del Barton to try to add to the lead. Goes wide. Some will get it back with a minute to go here in the first quarter. That was Willie Doyle with the opportunity for the Green Wave. We also have two not only defending state champs going at it. They're both their own county champs. Del Barton getting back on top of the podium at the Beaten Mountain Lakes last year. And Summit beating Westfield. Timeout could be called by Jimmy Davidson with 42 seconds to go. Coach? Take us into that summit huddle. What do you think? Well, you know, I think if you look at what they've done so far offensively, they're trying to isolate two short sticks behind. I think almost every set that they've run so far has been a, a double invert behind. You might want to see them change that up a little bit, and maybe try to change some matchups um, and, and bring a, a big little go to a big little possibly behind. 
Uh, but obviously, you know, uh, I'm not Jimmy Davidson, uh, and Jimmy knows what's best for his team, certainly. But uh, they've been – they've gone to that set each time. Uh, Del Hart's done a really good job with their shorties behind. Right. I haven't seen too much movement from the de Del Barton defense from above, which they are zoning – this situate with, with this uh, with this look that Summit's running right now, where they'll have a, a, a guy in the middle there on, on the crease, ready to support that that two man game. Uh, but I, I've been really impressed with Del Barton's uh, short stick defense so far. They've been terrific all season long. Again, their lone loss was to St. Anthony's. So you play Summit a rival today. You get one day to relax, and then you get to play Malvern Prep. There you go. No rest for the weary. Well, I, I was joking with Coach Kovacek. I go, most people want to take it easy on Saturday. Last week you played St. Anthony's, Malvern Prep, prep and it, it matches look at me and goes, we just want to get better every game, and that's how you do it. I think that's the and way That's why Matt's in the Hall of Fame. He replaced another Hall of Famer, Chuck Rubley. <laughs> just Hall of Famers running all over the place. All right, so after the timeout, we'll see what they draw, draw up. Jimmy, you Outstanding athlete at West Milford, football player. Baskets did not pick up lacrosse until college. Played club at East Stroudsburg and has become one of the best coaches around. But again, as we said, basketball and lacrosse, a lot of the same principles. All right, out of the timeout. The Hilltoppers will go to work. Quinn Hayne, Hines, excuse me. I think we're coming down here to the last 30 seconds of the, of the period here. They're definitely going to play for one here, no doubt. Tyler Sebastian, he's heading to Hofstra. His brother Dylan's there now. Well-known Summit name. Back up top. 18. Ryder, good D there, forcing Granger to get rid of it. Six seconds to go. Back up top. They try to send it back to X. That'll be a turnover. And the first quarter is in the books. In this huge early season Fitch Pit Division game, it's the Del Barton Green Wave 2, the Summit Hilltoppers 0. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with second quarter action here live on the Big State Sports Network. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our season pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. And welcome back to the Big State Sports Network here at Dull Barton High School, Big Fitch Pit Division battle. Dull Barton with a 2 0 lead, getting goals from Jackson Torres and Andrew Johnson, and we want to thank our sponsors, Q4 Lacrosse, Garden State Lacrosse Cup, their tryouts are coming up. Check out their website, Tri-County Orthopedics and JAG Physical Therapy. Best physical therapy around, Dan Cleary along with Matt Clank. Matt, we were talking off camera about the end of that first quarter. What did you see there? So, like I had said, they were looking to get some match to go into a little two-man game. You know, previously for most of the quarter there in the first quarter, they were going with a two-man game behind against two short sticks right there. We got the ball above goal, above goal line extended on the high wing there. and. We're putting a, a big, a uh, little, uh, a big short, a bit, a long stick with a short stick defender, and trying to change some matchups there a little bit. And so, you know, obviously they felt like they needed to change some things up there, which they did. Second quarter faceoff brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown, Trafford going against Welkis, and again, Del Belton wins on the doorstep, stopped by Kiva, balls loose, and Kiva will rake it back in. Wow, it's the beginning of the first quarter. Trafford won the first. 
won the face off and took it right down. I think that's a theme that's developing here a little bit is I think Del Barton has won every face off so far. Yep. Great opportunity off the off the off the uh, face off. Uh, great save by Summit. Uh, just what a, what an incredible save to hold his ground uh, and make that st save and, and just stand big. I think of all this. All the great goalies have come out of Sum Summit. Will Vinton, the Villanova he went there. You had Brian Feeney back in the day when 2009, 2010. You had Schro the Schroders. There's some great goalies that have come through Summit Lacrosse. Well, they have the possession now. They trail 2 0. Luke Harris gives it up, and that'll be a turnover. Del Barton will get it. And ground balls, face offs, and turnovers. A little unforced error. I don't know the Summit would like to have that one back. Uh, excuse me. Summit would like to have that one back there. It's, you know, you're going to commit some tur turnovers in this game when you have some heavy ball pressure. That's one where I, I know that uh, that, on, that young man would like to have that pass back and uh, get that play over. Yeah, you don't want to give Dalton Barton any extra opportunities. But right there, a whistle on Dalton Barton. Were they off sides, Coach? I didn't see that call. I was, I was kind of looking on the offensive end here. It had to be something on the substitution piece. Uh, uh, okay. Illegal substitution coming out of the box a little too early. So Summit will get it back, so no harm, no foul on that turnover. The Hilltoppers looking for their first goal to send it back to X. Little two-man game ripped and saved by Rolke. Luke Harris had hands free, and Rolke makes the stop. Another big save there. You saw Del Barton's defender there break his stick, so they were a man down there for a brief moment, and uh, that's a great opportunity for Summit uh, you know, while they were up 6v5 six, six, uh, six there. They get it across. Carrillo, again, I keep talking about he is Mr. Energy. And when you're trying to clear against Summit, you got to botch out. They love the ride. I they, think that's a, that's a non-negotiable for Jim. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to play uh, for Summit unless you are going to play a full field game. I imagine if he was coaching hoops, he'd be a full court pressure guy uh, as no well. Sartorius. So we'll work it back to X. Good ball movement here. Doyle. Swings it back up top, Amato. They'll be patient against this zone. Sebastian comes out a little bit here to pressure. Sebastian and Charles Traeger up top of that zone. The give goes through, looking for the cutter coming through Asher Testa. And Doyle, good hustle, gets there. Him and his brother put on a clinic at that MCT final last year down at that beautiful place in Mount Olive. Turn over here. Here come the Hilltoppers on the run. Luca Avellino put on the brakes. Brother Jude playing at Skidmore. A bunch of guys from Summit have gone on to play at Skidmore, including Jack Holmes. Well, if you're a college coach, which you were for a long time, you have to have... Jim Davidson, Tim Flynn, and Matt Kovacek's number on speed dial. Two of the three. <laughs> I won't say which two of the three. Here we go. Summit still looking for that first gold. They're just so well balanced on the attack. Another great save by Rolke. That'll roll out. A ground ball scooped up by Ryder. And here come the green wave on the run. Will Petticano with the long pole. And coming back and breaking that up is John Conniff. That's what Summit does to you. You think you got something going and someone comes back. A little back check, stick check. And a timeout call by Coach Davidson. That's his second timeout, so he's out of timeouts for the half. With 7.52, that's a big timeout. He wants to, you can tell how much these possessions mean. I mean everything. That he's calling a timeout there. Hey, we're gonna, we'll, this will give us some time to thank our sponsors. We want to thank Q4 Lacrosse from local and private small group training to national recruiting events. Q4 Lacrosse is your home for lacrosse development. Start training with us today to improve your skills and confidence. Go to www.q4lacrosse.com. Garden State. Lacrosse Cup features the top players from around New Jersey. You can try out for a regional team in June to compete for the championship in July. There's new divisions for middle school boys and high school girls, along with upper class and underclass boys divisions. Sign up for tryouts at GardenStateLacrosseCup.com. Tri-County Orthopedics, the most preferred, recognized, and awarded orthopedic practice in the region. Go to TriCountyOrtho.com 
to learn more. And then our friends at JAG Physical Therapy, proud partner of Q, excuse me, Q4 Lacrosse and your trusted in-network resources for physical and occupational therapy services with over 115 convenient locations throughout New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Their team of experienced clinicians will get you back on your feet and get you back to the life you love. For more information, go to their website. It's Jack Physical Therapy. So as I said before, we started talking about how important possessions are. Coach Davidson calling that timeout. It looked like it was a little hairy then. It might be a turnover, so keep it. That's the one difference, you know, that you see from, from, from being a college guy for most of my life to the high school game is that, you know, you can call timeout in anywhere on the field, whereas in college you have to be on the offensive end um, in your box to do that. So it's, uh, it's a nice luxury, I will say, as a, as a head coach to have that in your, in your pocket. Actually, it was Del Barton to call the timeout. My apologies, folks. So Summit still has the timeout left. Ben Keldy will bring it up at the long pole. Going to Lafayette, continue that great tradition of long poles from Del Barton. Great patience there on the clear. Now looking to push one side, get the defense to rotate um, in their zone um, and get it to the backside, which if you take your time, you're going to get it out in that 20-second period. Corbin Lukanski's up at Bucknell. Let's go, boys! Julian Radosich was a terrific long stick midi. He's at Fairfield. TJ Coffey's at Quinnipiac. Vinny Ferrara at Gettysburg. Nick Dottro, Franklin Marshall. Just terrific athletes playing at the next level for Del Barton as we chronicled with Summit as well. And again, as good as it gets with Mike Long and CJ Kirst, the captains up at Cornell. Now they are fun to watch. Coming to the East Coast is the Notre Dame Fighting Irish defending champs, the Cavanaugh's. They'll be playing this Saturday, Sunday, excuse me, at LIU out in Long Island. It's a fundraiser game. There'll be a high school game afterwards, so check it out. Bill Barton stays yeah, with it. Bobby. Good work by Cusimano. We have our first flag. And this penalty brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Check out their great selection online or stop by and check them out. Open Road Mazda. So what do we get, Coach? We got a slash. Got a slash. It looks like we've got some rain picking up now. Uh, we are located very nicely dry in the press box. Probably one Del Barton would like to have back because you know you had a you had a minute penalty, which is going to carry over if they score there. I really like what they were doing on that ground ball, that uh, the effort in that corner there to get to an open area, we get his hands free, and you know trying to get to the backside where they had you know some numbers possibly, um, and that ball just sailed. But once again, like you saw, uh, we got some little little rain popping here, and that could affect the sticks. On the special teams, you got Doyle out there, Gavin Roberger, Amato. And we talked about the ground balls, the face -offs. Special teams are huge as well when you have two evenly matched teams. Asher Tester out there, shot goes wide. And Sartorius, that's your special teams, for, and Carrillo, special teams for Del Barton, defensively for Summit. Charles Traeger, Quinn Dillon, John Conniff, Carter Shalcross out there. Drop into that little 2-3. Got him, got him. Carrillo sends it over. It was on Avellino. Keep it with the stop. Not a bad take. Uh, once you, you, know, you drop the stick a little bit, he stayed low. You typically like to see that shot go high and change the plane. Um, but a good, good set there for, for uh, Summit on man down. Really rotated nicely. Didn't really give him any opportunities on the inside, which is obviously something I'll have to take care of. Shot and another save. roki has been a wall here in the first half. And a good ground ball scooped up by Can't Chase Hauser. Can't have a problem with that shot. He shot it low, goalie's coming up big. Check that, that was Ryder with the ground ball. Win 33, on the doorstep shot, goal! Del Barton, and with the goal, it's Bobby Cusimano. Little unsettled situation there. I think that's a, you know, in terms of what Del Barton's thought process going into this game today, for how good Summit is on a six-on-six -six situation, you're going to have to look to push some transition, some some unsettled situations. Even if, even though I don't think, think there were necessarily numbers there, you know, Summit's not set up. 
correctly into their into what they want to do. So less numbers, great time to attack. Where do they get the opportunity? Right in front of the goaltender. That's a tough. That's a tough shot to save. We'll head back to face off X, which has been dominated by Del Barton, and that's Trzinski taking that. And he's going to win it. Last year it was Trafford and Nick Facone. This year it's Trafford and Trzinski get the double-headed monster on the face-offs. So another possession here, hands free, rocket. Wow, Doyle left alone. You don't want to leave that lefty alone. No, he can bring it. It's Hilltoppers will get there. Good job by Del Barton getting back here, taking away any type of possible unsettled situation uh, some of might have had there, which is a thought here. I think uh, Don Barton's been very impressive so far on the defensive end in settled situations. Though some that might need to push a little tempo uh, to get a goal or two here, an easy goal or two. Daniel Flame, their top scorer, number six, been pretty quiet. That's a good job by the Del Barton defense, keeping an eye on him. He's got the ball right now. He gives it up. Poppin was keeping an eye on him, number 99. We're working back to X as we approach four minutes ago here in the first half. And only three goal deficit for Summit. Last year was a 4-3 win for Del Barton in a regular season and then pretty high scoring for these two teams, 10-8 in the Curse Cup semifinals. Yeah, going back to that look again with two shorties behind. You know, Del Barton's zoning it up behind. You see 11 there as the hot man, it's a good look. Try to feed the crease, we'll have a whistle and he was in the crease. So Del Barton will get it back. And here comes that ride. Working so hard on top of that, Will Icovelli. We have 3.20 to go here in the opening half. Del Barton with a 3 0 lead between these two rivals. Best from Morris County to best from Union County. That Fitch Pit division is just a meat grinder. Seton Hall Prep. Summit. You gotta be on your game every game. Chatham, Montclair, Scotch Plains, Westfield, who owns has a win over West uh, excuse me, Summit this year. And the Gibbs is no slouch either. You're in, you're out. Trying to work his way in. Good defense coming there by Tyler De Silva, number six. Back behind X, a turnover. And that's scooped up by Bo Poppin, the Notre Dame commit. And did we get the timeout? Nope. Turnover, and we'll go back to Summit. Call the procedure. That's a sort of legal procedure. Yeah, it was a legal procedure. I think the officials are going to talk about it. And are they making sure the proper substitutions are in? Let's see. Looks like someone's going to retain possession here. So. Yes, and they will. All right, 2.20 to go. Obviously, this would do wonders for the Hilltoppers to get one in before this half ends. Yeah, they're right there. Uh, they're getting some decent opportunities. Just got to clean up the stick work a little bit. Uh, Hands free. Right nice save by Rolke. What do you think? What's Rolke doing? He's catching the angle correctly. Plus, he's got great defense in front of him. I'll, I'll tell you, his quickness is just off the charts. Uh, he does not let the ball play him. He attacks the ball on every shot. This is Daniel Flame. Little inside roll, doubled up, goes wide. Good job by Ryder and Will Pedicano to slow him down. Yes, Reed. Granger will bring this out. And the Hilltoppers will work it up top. Cade Gilbert sends it back. This is Flame. Tough angle shot goes wide. Who's going to get there first? Big call here, and will be Del Barton. 
Good hustle by the Green Wave. They'll get the turnover with 120 to go. The little hustle things. And Keldy, back to Rolke. There's that ride. Ryder does a good job getting it across, gets it to Sartorius. They're under a minute here, Dan. It looks, you probably look to see Del Barton. That summit defense, unrelenting. Playing without a stick. And a turnover there, great defense by Carter Shalcross. No Del surprise there. I was just gonna say Del Barton was probably looking to, to end the quarter down on this end, and uh, these are game changers sometimes. You know, uh, in terms of some mistakes here at the end of the quarter. So, big possession here for Summit. See if they hold for one, get their proper personnel on the field. 25 seconds to go. And there's the second timeout for Summit. I, I was mistaken before, Del Barton had taken that timeout, so Jimmy Davidson using his second timeout here with 20 seconds to go. And again, you take a look at that summit huddle year in, year out. I, was, I made a mention of before, 2009-2010, That's those two summit teams, back-to-back -back TOC championships, their defense was just amazing. Uh, Bobby Lawrence, who ended up going to Colgate, Brian Feeney in goal, uh, James Kennedy was a terrific scorer for them with the pen. That, that's as good as, a, I mean, Del Barton, obviously amazing. Chuck Rubin and all the championships he's won, Matt Kovacek won. The TOC in 18, his, uh, I think that was his first year, because Chuck coached until 2017. But you've been around the sport a long time, but those two years, I, I don't know, some great lacrosse coming out I, of Summit. I think the theme that we, you know, if we, from the beginning here has been Summit defense, right? And mm -hmm. we're talking about 15 years ago, and we're still talking about Summit yep. defense. You know, y you win with defense. But you know. you know what? And Del Barton's defense doesn't get the love we keep talking about. Their defense has been amazing the last few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does a great job. Matt has done a great job here at Del Barton when he was assistant with Chuck all those years, winning those, those, those state titles. Uh, Matt is as good as it gets when it comes to coaching. Absolutely. Uh, and what a pleasure it is when you're calling games in Morris County and every game there's usually a Hall of Fame coach on the sideline. <laughs> We're all lucky to, uh, to uh, see this greatness. Uh, We're that spoiled up here. We are. I know I am. It's like. You know, get these Sami. Hey, you want to do Summit Del Barton lacrosse? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Take this every day of the year, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Sign me up. Matt, I'll tell you, I've done a lot in my long time covering sports up here, but I don't think I had more fun and was more honored than calling the Curse Cup tournament last year. Oh, just the amount of talent on the field in those games was insane. All right, 15 seconds to go for the Hilltoppers. Can they get one in before this half ends? Granger trying to get through, good defense. Gabe Ryder, dump shot, and a save, and scooped up by Bo Popham. And that is gonna bring us to the end of the first half, and a great defensive half for Del Barton. We've been talking about Summit, but it's the Green Waves defense with a three nothing lead over Summit. We're gonna take a break, we'll have halftime, and we'll come back with third quarter action here live on the Big State Sports Network. And over. Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Pipeworks Services, providing quality plumbing, heating, cooling, electrical services, and insulation for 20 plus years. 
Our unwavering commitment to excellent service has earned us the trust of North and Central New Jersey communities. Call us today at 973-298-1961 to experience our dependable and caring expertise. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Pipeworks Services, providing quality plumbing, heating, cooling, electrical services, and insulation for 20 plus years. Our unwavering commitment to excellent service has earned us the trust of North and Central New Jersey communities. Call us today at 973-298-1961 to experience our dependable and caring expertise. the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. For years, it had been the same routine working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me, for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, 
business quote, visit us at erinmizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd, we're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Go ahead. Take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family-owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf, serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. And welcome back to Del Barton High School here in Morris Township, New Jersey. As Big State Sports presents high school boys lacrosse. It's been a good one here in the Fitch Pit Division, but when isn't there a great game in the Fitch Pit Division? They include along with Matt Clank as Del Barton with a 3 0 lead. Jack Sotorius, Andrew Johnson, and Bobby Cusimano with the goals for the Green Wave. Patrick Roki has been terrific between the pipes for the Green Wave yet again. And Summit. Yet to score a goal. Hey, we want to thank our sponsors, Q4 Lacrosse. From local and private small group training to national recruiting events, Q4 Lacrosse is your home for lacrosse development. Start training with us today, improve your skills, and attend one of our events. To learn more, go to q4lacrosse.com. Garden State Lacrosse Cup it features the top players in New Jersey. Try out for your regional team in June and play for a championship in July. New divisions for middle school boys, high school girls, along with upper class and underclass boys divisions. Sign up for tryouts at GardenStateLacrosseCup.com. Tri-County Orthopedics, the most preferred and recognized and awarded orthopedic practice in the region. Go to TriCountyOrtho.com to learn more. And Jack Physical Therapy, with over 115 convenient locations throughout New York and New Jersey. It's Jack Physical Therapy, a proud partner with Q4 Lacrosse and our second half temperature we're about ready to start is still a balmy 62 with a little bit of rain and this face-off brought to you by open road mazda check out their great selection of cars for under fifteen thousand dollars they have your back from sporty Beatas to big suvs they got it all and the face-off is going to be won by del barton that's been a story of the first half and it starts the second half as i bring in matt clank every face-off so far uh, you know, those are big possessions when you're talking about, you know, a tight game here at the end and uh, you, get, you win the possession battle. A lot of times you're going to come up. We talked about that with the ground balls. It's the same thing with the, you know, those, those extra possessions on the faceoff. So give us your overall impressions of that first half, Coach. Just really impressed with Del Barton on the defensive end. Um, just 
haven't had had too many unforced errors, you know, and, and that's tough against a, a team that's buttoned up like Summit on the defensive end. I right. Mean, that, I mean, they are. They, you know, you just, once again, we say zone, but man-to-man -man principles, and they the support systems that Summit uh, yeah, provides uh, the on-ball uh, carrier uh, defender is just like you see right there. Just the rotations are just on point every time. So. Um, the possession here. You got three goals. Yep. Is, okay. Three goals is doable, right? You start to get the four to five. Right. And you start to, you know, then you start to press maybe a little bit. So it's a big, just big, big, big possession here for uh, Elbert. And, and you always like when you start the third quarter. First goal is always big. It's either like you said, it's four goal lead or it's a three one game. Huge. Elbert, good ball movement, but good defense here by Summit. Hacking away there. John Connor for shot and a goal and. The Green Wave's patience pays off. They're up 4-0. Let's take a look through that, Coach. What did you see? Yeah, I think Summit gets a, a little aggressive here. Um, as they were going to the goal here, just you see a little extra, you see a little double team there, which they didn't, uh, you know, create a play there. And then you have a short, little, small, little window there to get that ball inside. And you know, that's, that's pinpoint passing for, you know, for a goal. Those are spots where you don't want to see uh, your shots come from. Summit does a great job typically of covering up the paint uh, and that's exactly where they got it for that layup. Asher Tester with the goal. He's got seven on the season. For sure. And he got a great First, assist from sure. Willie Doyle. And big, Summit, big win for Summit there. They needed to get that possession. They did. They did. They'll take it anyway, then get it. There was a little push, but they, they, had, position, they had position to the ball, so uh, that's really only... Only played Del Bar really had again, that. following the script of the Pope John game where they had 12 different scorers, four different scorers today, coach. Got to love that. Spread the wealth. Absolutely. Come around the corner, shot into the side of the net. Uh, Jack Freeman. Good patience, good look there from Will Pedicano. Shot. Saved by Kivit. And that will. Summit possession. We've only had the one flag today. Again, Clean you don't game. expect that a lot when you see these two great programs going at it. Ground ball scooped up. Pedicano. He's bodied up there by Luke Harris. Race for the ball. Who's got it? A good call there. Yep. No Barton. Good hustle. Again, when these two teams met in the Curse Cup semis, Carter Shalcross with that big ground ball win on the end line, and they got that timeout. Del Barton didn't agree with it. It was a tough call. And then Sean McSeeney scored, and a 9-8 game becomes 10-8. A terrific game down at Kane University last year. Hopefully we'll get all the teams Last year we didn't get all the teams. Uh, group three champ couldn't make it because of a conflict with graduation. But you know, Gil St. Burns was there. There's a program on the rise. They are. Byron does a good job. And obviously, Del Barton was a non was a non public aid. That'll go high. Some of the group two champs, group four, Ridgewood, Mike Pounds, year in year out. What a great job. That's one of the blue bloods. When you start thinking about lacrosse back in the 70s, you had Ridgewood, Montclair, the prep schools. Yeah, Ridgewood definitely knows, uh, definitely uh, is a household name when it comes to Jersey lacrosse if you're back, you know, living back in the 80s and 90s, right? Hands free, traffic with the rip. You're absolutely right. Mike Pound's doing the job. Hall of Famer, too, down there. Coach Moreau at Rumson has made them a power. They beat Mount Lakes last year in the Group 1 Championship. Good opportunity by Del Barton there. You know, I think with Del Barton's been successful from the outside, you see them changing the play on the shot. You know, it's a high to high shot, and you know, goalie's tracking that ball on the stick, and uh, you know, it makes that save look rather routine. Rain coming down a little bit harder now. We're four minutes into the third quarter. The umbrella's popping up. Again, if you're Summit, no, no rush here. I know you're down four, but there's plenty of time. Flame, oh, that catch the post, coach? It did, it did. 
Daniel Flame with the rocket. He's a, again going to Villanova where you coach, coach. I did coach at Villanova back in the day. Uh, dating myself a little bit, but I, I was an assistant coach at, uh, at Villanova uh, with uh, Mike Corrado uh, back in the late 90s, uh, early uh, 2000. Year in, year out, he's always has a great program. Part of that big five, just not basketball. You got Villanova lacrosse, Penn lacrosse is always good. And we'll have a whistle. Delby was offside, so Summit will get it back. Trying to get something going here on Settle, but now they'll settle down with just over seven minutes to go in the third quarter. And we do have a flag on the far sideline. And it will be against Del Barton, so Del Barton has too many men on the field on our offside. We'll see how Summit approaches this. That would be the first penalty against Del Barton. Summit had a penalty earlier. Back up top, still with Tyler Sebastian. Puts the brakes on. Some of defense. Look at the slides. Shot a save by Rolke. When they do get a shot, Rolke's been there. He's been very <laughs> impressive this whole game. Just attacking the ball. This is going to say uh, the tough spot there for Summit. Even though there's a flag down, it's hard enough to score against Del Barton with six guys out there. Right. There's seven. Uh, <laughs> but they get the they get the man up here. Be a 30 second technical. Let's see if that defense with Melchioni and Julian Radosic from last year, Corbin Lukanski. Year in, year out. They swing it over, good ball move, and slips through. That's a great ground ball win by Gabe Ryder. Those are winning plays right there, Dan. No doubt. Unsettled. They work it back, McGinty, Guzmano. They'll let this 30 second run out. They'll get their personnel on and a great job by the Green just, Wave. Just, just great patience there, I think. You know, the kill and the penalty there, there's a few seconds left on the foul and he could have taken that shot and he pulled it out. Uh, just the, the IQ of both, of both teams in terms of the players that are stepping on this field today is just, it's something to, uh, to really appreciate if you're a lacrosse fan. McGinty will come off, Carrillo will come on. Guzmano back. John Conniff on him. Again, Summit, as always, a team, team to beat in group two. A lot of good group two teams, but right now until someone beats Summit in the state tournament. They were the favorite. Amato gives it up as they work some clock here. Guzmato puts the brakes on. Good job by Kana. Del Barton with a four nothing lead, four different goal scorers. So Torius, Johnson, Guzmato, and Testa. Shot goal, five nothing, and that's Doyle. Take us through that coach, we'll look at the replay. Yeah, the thing that sticks out is just the pinpoint passing. You watch every pass it's supposed to be. It's where it's supposed to be, which allows that player to make a, uh, a quick decision with the ball. You know, uh, talking by you know, guys that I coach still and with the travel piece and, uh, and the youth piece, uh, the passing and the catching is such an underrated aspect of this game. And you know, it, it sometimes boils down to that. And that's what you saw there. Ball moves faster than the defense can recover. Uh, and you get a layup. Willie Doyle's seventh goal of the season for the Amherst commit. And Del Barton's gonna win another one. Ryan Trafford going to the Naval Academy. He's gonna do both from my understanding, lacrosse and football. What an undertaking. What a special young man that is. And what a great football program here. Coach Brian Bowers has brought Del Barton to be one that's part of that power five. They lost in the state finals last year to Bergen Catholic, but what a great program he has built up here at this beautiful facility, that, that field house. <laughs> wow. 
I'd like to see that appraised as a, as a home. <laughs> How much money they can sell that for? They just built it, Pizzo Field House. Dan Whalen, the former AD, runs it. Dan's a great guy. Gave up hoops this year. And Del Bart won their third straight Morris County Championship. Coach Crane. Shot saved by Kivit. Good ball, on, on ball pressure there by Summit to take a little off that shot. Easy save for, for the Kivit. We'll work it back to Kivit. Rain coming down steady, not pouring too hard, but steady enough that it's going to be a nuisance. Yeah, it definitely affects the sticks here a little bit. Uh, tend to really got to focus on your on your passing catch. You see right there, just to pass a little bit lower, you know. Uh, but these kids are so good; they they uh, they know how to play in the rain. Luke Harris, I like how Del Barton extends their defense when they have to. They don't let anyone get their hands free. They get there when they need to get there. It's a, just terrific defense by the Green Wave. Jared Bowden, number 21, is checked in for the Green Wave. And for both teams, depth not an issue. <laughs> they are your, loaded. your legs. Off the pick. Sent back up top. They work it around. This is Flame. Trying to shake Ryder. Shot saved by Rolke. Shot from Flame, saved by Rolke. <laughs> Barton will get it over. Good work there by Nick Rispoli, number 10. <coughs> Five nothing lead for the Green Wave. We have 2.15 to go here in the third quarter, live on the Big State Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Will Clank, uh, Matt Clank, excuse me. <coughs> I think you're going to see Dal Barton uh, take their time here a little bit as this game's starting to wind down. The game's flying by. It's two minutes to go in the third quarter with a five nothing lead. Uh, someone doesn't have the ball, tough to come back. Absolutely. <coughs> it starts at X, but Trafford and Trzinski, mostly Trafford, have been terrific for the green wave. This is Sartorius with a running start. Dumps it to the goal line extended, back up top. Amato's got a rocket. If he gets his hands free, it's going. And Summit knows that, harassed there by Cade Gilbert. This is Amato. Gives it up, draws the slide, hands free shot, saved by Kievit. I think he used every part of his body on that. Once again, just really impressive ball movement. Someone's getting a little aggressive there. Um, but he, their, their ability to, to know what's coming next is just so impressive. Because uh, once again, we talked about how good Summit is defensively as a group. Uh, they knew where to put the, they knew, they knew exactly where to move the ball and you get that open shot and uh, great opportunity. Ball slips out of Motto's stick. We have a minute to go in the quarter. Here's that ball moving again. They're starting to wheel. Who's Amato? Conniff on him. Co comes around the corner, saved by Kivit. Ground ball scooped up by Testa. Broken up by Summit for the moment. Battle for the ground ball. Kivit part of it. And they need to get that because the cage is open. Carrillo will win the ground ball. Kiva will hustle back. What a sequence. A lot of hustle on both teams. Summit's going to have to really dig deep here. Sartorius shot. Goal. Weaved his way in. No one picked him up. And he dumps it in the back of the net. And it's 6 nothing as he gets his second goal. I think the, uh, the loose ball here, that loose ball pickup, you know, and attacking off the loose ball. The, the defense is not set. Great opportunity. The support systems aren't there like they are normally when they're set. But you know, loose balls are going to end up in the back of the net when you when you have a, a team that's as skilled as Del Barton. And those goals with less than a minute left in a quarter are killers. They're backbreakers. Six nothing to score for Del Barton. So Torres now the only multiple goal scorer. And again, faceoffs have been all Del Barton. Now when. Summit was able to beat them last year in the Curse Cup. Jake Renero, who's now a Drew, was tremendous in that game. And a win there by Pedicano. Still has it. Right on the doorstep. Oh. Looking for Doyle for the one-timer. 
I like to look there. There's a flag down on the backside. I think we got a slash on the backside. Uh, five seconds to go in the in the period. Going to have a uh, hold. Definitely, definitely made sense here to try to see if they can get a you know a, a backside uh, layup there. Just uh, I, I like the uh, I like the look. So 30 second, and that will be on Luke Broderick. Just a holding heavily on Summit. 30 seconds. They're going to hold here and start the fourth quarter with possession. Makes sense, but only five ticks to go. Carrillo. And he'll wait. And the horn will sound, so three quarters in the books here in this big Fitch Pitch Division showdown. And it's our score, his Del Barton six, Summit zero. And we'll be back with fourth quarter action right after this, live on the Big State Sports Network. In almost every aspect, we work with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse. And Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. And welcome back to Del Barton High School here at Reagan Field, Cocazella Field as well, Reagan Stadium. As Del Barton with a 6 0 lead over Summit. Dan Cleary along with Matt Clank. And Jackson Torres with a big goal with 25 seconds left in the third to give him a six goal lead. Again, I want to thank our sponsors Q4 Lacrosse, Garden State Lacrosse Cup, Tri County Orthopedics, and Jack Physical Therapy. Also, folks, if you want to, if your booster club, advertises and sponsors a game on Big State Sports, we can help you raise money for your club. If you want to find out, check us out online. And if you want to book your game, there it is right there. We are, we were more of Sussex Sports and then Garden State Sports, but we're Big State Sports now. We'll go anywhere in the area. Go to South Jersey. We'll go anywhere you want us to do a game. We have no boundaries. So we're going to start off Del Barton in the fourth quarter with possession with 18 seconds to go and the man up. And a 6 0 lead over Summit. Dane Cleary alone with Matt Clank. Rip! And it'll go wide. It's a great chance there. You know, the, the Del Barton had to love the, love the backside anticipation by the defenseman there to run that shot out and get possession back for Summit. Now, Matt, as a former college coach, what do you look for in a player to come play at the next level? What jumps out at you? Well, you know, the non-negotiable always going to be, to, you know, to play hard, mm -hmm. right? You know, no matter how skilled you are, you know, uh, you know coaches want guys that are going to play hard all the time. And then you start, you know, how do they play their position? And, and I think this game is, I think the one, one of the unique pieces is the ability to be able to handle the stick, right? So right. Uh, you can't handle the ball, you know, the next level is, is, is hard unless you're just, you know, just an insanely athletic uh, young man. But even then, you know, Ball finds a weak stick a lot. Uh, but I think the non-negotiable always would be, you know, how hard. Are you a kid that plays hard all the time? Great double team. Ball pop loose. Another big time ground ball. We said that a lot about 11 here. Yes, uh, today. He, he, kinda, he, he He makes plays in the middle of the field. Well, they've done great every part of the field. They have done a really good job of just contesting every inch. Uh, Summit has not had a ton, a ton of space to breathe here today. And I, I just, Del Barton uh, has done a great job of just imposing their will a little bit here today. You know, we were talking about the correlation between hoops and lacrosse. Pat Spencer, uh -huh. a great lacrosse player. He's playing in the NBA now. Talk about an athlete. I saw a guy on Twitter the other day dunking the ball in an NBA game. 
One of the greatest cross players that ever lived. Doyle rip saved by Kivit. So shot by Doyle saved by Kivit. To quote the late great Yogi Berra, and kids look that up if you don't know who he is. Getting late early out there for Summit. It is. Big save, someone needed that. I find myself, Matt, saying that a lot these days. Kids, Google it. <laughs> getting old. I'm getting there with you, Dan. <laughs> turn over there. Not what the Hilltoppers needed. Summit will play a team from Washington State in their next game, Mercer Island. And then on the 18th, they get to see the Pirates with their nine Division One players from Seton Hall Prep. Coach Turco, amazing job there. Part of the Turco family legacy, dad, Hall of Fame coach. If you know Jersey Lacrosse, you know you've heard the name Turco before. Yep, down at Petty. That was one of the first lacrosse games I covered many, many years ago with Petty Blair Day. Blair Academy and Petty. And Blair Academy then was pretty good. It was a big time games back then. Oh yeah, that's a big day, Petty Blair Day. Big ground ball here. Yes, indeed. And it will be won by Del Barton. I think that's kind of a little bit of a little bit of the theme of the day. Is it's just a lot of loose mm -hmm. balls have gone Del Barton's way, and um, you know. Really atypical of the Summit Summit team, but I, you know, I think it's more about what Del Barton is doing than what Summit is not doing. A hundred percent, Coach, you nailed that right on the head. I mean, no one ever plays a perfect game, but damn, Del Barton's close to it today. Yeah, they're on their game. They're on their game today. They came, they came, they came ready to play. I should say, darn, I apologize, folks. Again, with eight minutes to go here, I think you're going to see Del Barton yep. kind of ease off the gas pedal a little bit. Still play. Um, and get work to get some, you know, qual a quality shot here. Probably be surprised if they didn't get something in tight and work for something in tight. I know that's probably what uh, Matt is looking for here. And with a six-goal lead and tons of depth in Malvern prep waiting on a rainy day, get some guys in there because it's not going to be a huge, huge drop-off. That's a big ground ball there. Yep. Just some of these, some of needs these these 50-50 balls right now. Uh, makes this come back, which is certainly not out of the uh, possibilities here. Um, they need these loose balls. You know, I think it's a big time out there. Jim's going to get these guys settled up. Probably look to you know, isolate here what they've been doing with the short sticks with the two-man game and uh, look to get something in tight, high-quality uh, shot. Now, Coach, Coach, we were talking before the game, and I had asked you it because I, I, was, I was pretty sure, but I wasn't positive. Now, the divisions in the North Jersey uh, Boys Lacrosse League are named after people that really brought the game along in the state of New Jersey. Dick Risk was at Booton. Uh, Pooley was at Westmore. The Clank Division is named after your dad. Talk about that. Wow, I mean, just uh, somewhat surreal uh, to, to have you bring that up. Um, it's been 21 years since my father passed on April 1st, 2003. MK was getting ready to play that day. Um, I know my dad was excited about the year and uh, got that unfortunate call um, yep. that we all dread. And uh, But, you know, I'll tell you now, um, it just really puts a, a smile on my face to, to speak about, you know, what my father has meant to New Jersey lacrosse. Um, you know, uh, I've tried to live up to the standards of that name a little bit. I hope I've done a, an okay job over the years, but uh, I'm sure he'd be proud. I hope. I, I found that fascinating. I didn't know. I had my guesses. And you were correct. And the teams that are on the maybe the old what they used to call the C level. They're named at the, the Curse Division for Kyle Kirst. What so, a man. Uh, what absolutely. a man. And I think you know, that plays out. You know, we're just talking about me, uh, Noel Clank's son, and you look at the Kirst brothers, what they do, what ambassadors of the game they are. Uh, just, you could be really proud, uh, you know, just to see what they have done and how they handle themselves 
Um, still in the college game today, which is great to see. And then I think we're going to have a ton of Kirsch brothers at the PLL here. Well, they um, do already. The, the oldest ones. And then you, do. And the youngest, Caden, he's going to Rutgers next year. He's a goalie at Bernard's now. I hear he might be the best of the, of the brothers. Which is, terms of, says a lot is, as far as the goalies are concerned. So Del Barton with the ball. A big save. And Keevan makes the stop. Number 30, Alex Schobel with the shot. And taking the shot there, Alex Schobel. Again, different different names getting in there. Coach Kovacek in the Hall of Fame. He knows what he's doing, obviously. He's got a, a comfortable lead with six minutes to go, just under. And if it gets sweaty, we'll get the other guys in. But right now, with Malvern Prep with a short turnaround, only two days rest. Yeah, you got to play your guys, right? Mm -hmm. you, these games are, it seems, you know, in, in high school lacrosse in New Jersey, kind of play every other day. Uh, you need some depth. Uh, Set time with six minutes to go to get a couple of guys that practice hard, right? You yeah. Know, every day uh, to get some time where you know then as a coach you can trust them right. in some bigger spots, you know, later on down the line. And uh, it keeps those kids practicing hard every day. Right. Uh, because that's where you get better. You know, and, and knowing these two programs – you know, how hard these guys go at it every day in practice, that's where they get better. This is Falk. Shot saved by Kivit. Peter Falk, number 88, his shot saved by Kivit. I mean, you got guys on this Del Barton team that are committed and they, they're, they're second, third line guys. <laughs> it's amazing. I remember when I used to coach college here, I could go watch warm-ups and, and watch the kids that aren't going to make the game, and you, you can recruit those guys because they're pretty, some pretty good players. We'll have a whistle with 4.49 to go. And Bill Barton looking to move to get their, it's their first game in the division in the Fitch, Fitch pit. We'll have a timeout on the field. So, Coach, you followed and been part of lacrosse in New Jersey for a long time. You grew up in PA, played there, coached at Villanova. Just talk about what, you, what you've seen in this area as far as lacrosse. When We talked about earlier what you look for for a player when you're a college coach, but just the level of talent up here. It's just low, it's, it's, it's loaded nuts. here. It's, it's, there's, it, the, the, the growth of the game <clears throat> has just been so fun to witness over the years. You know, I'm, I'm coming from Pennsylvania where I, I played at a prep school where that lacrosse was the only, where I played at prep school, that was the only lacrosse program in that area. And, you know, that, once again, I'm dating myself a little bit, but that's back in the 90s. And now seeing the growth of the game, you were just talking before a little bit about team coming in to play Summit from Washington. Right. <laughs> uh, the, the growth of the sport, it's just so fun to play, though, for a young man. I have a, I have a young man myself that's in fifth grade, and uh, and I used to appreciate baseball, and I do appreciate sure. baseball. Uh, but I tell you, when you put a lacrosse stick in a, in, a, in a kid's hands and they're running around and they're having a ton of fun, you can see why the growth of the game is just exploding. And the more players that are playing, you're starting to see just, just – the players that come out of North Jersey just beat. It's insane. Beat. They're ready. They're ready to play big time college across right away. Well, I've always Which said if say. lacrosse takes off in Florida, Texas, and California, baseball's in trouble. <laughs> well, I'm talking to my one friend back and forth here that used to coach here at Del Barton. That's uh, coaching uh, down in Florida, and uh, uh, he's got some pretty good things going on down there. So the growth is happening everywhere. And you think about the big time colleges that have picked it up, you know, within the last 15 years, Michigan, Ohio State, taking it serious, Penn State from your home state. And they had the facilities and the money. Yeah, I think we look to probably see that kind of continue here in the, in the coming years to see some of these other big time, you know, basketball, football schools, you know, add lacrosse. And uh, this is such an addition to your, to your sports programs. Uh, hopefully we see that in the coming years. And can't be understated what Coach Bill Tierney's done. I mean, what he did at Princeton. Shot! Goal! Great patience. And that's Tester with another goal. His eighth of the season and second of the game. Yeah, I think, you know, I said earlier, 
you know, Del Barton was going to work for, for a, a tight shot there, right? You know, if some is pressing out a little bit, they need the ball back, you know, they're, they're going to push out a little bit. Gave uh, young man there a lane, and, and that's what I'm sure Matt talked about in that timeout mm -hmm. was, hey, guys, let's, let's get a high-quality shot. Let's keep playing the cross, um, but let's get a good-quality shot here, and that's what they got. Summer gets the ground ball in, but talk about Coach Tierney, what he did at Princeton, and then he brought the game out to the West. And what he's done at Denver, amazing. The best, the best. Uh, and we're getting, we're, he couldn't leave it either. He's, he's going to be coaching the PL this, this year and this summer. And uh, <laughs> uh, once, if you, if you, once you're a coach, you're always a coach. I know he probably Absolutely. had Absolutely. I'm sure he's so happy to be, uh, to be on the sideline again this summer. And Utah's has a program over the last few kid from Sparta playing there, Colby Plotz. Ball pops loose. I think Tim Flynn told me when he was in high school there was eight teams around. That's it. All right, well, Del Barton has put together a stellar performance. Pick your superlative right now. Yeah, uh, I, I, once again, I think this is about, once again, a more, more to say about Del Barton today. Than it, than it does about Summit. Uh, it, it, they just came out here and opposed their will here from the from the beginning with loose balls, their defensive effort, the goalie effort. Once again, not taking anything away from, from Summit. They'll be back. <laughs> they'll be, they'll, Jimmy oh, will absolutely. get them going. Um, they'll be in the, the Union County Championship game again, probably see Westfield again. Shot no, no. saved by Kivit, and they'll be in the mix. Shot and another goal for Del Barton. That's fault. Yeah, I think, you know, like I just said, those, those loose balls have been just a, a theme for me. Uh, you know, getting a loose ball there, that's, that's, that's just real tough for, for a goalie to make that save. Um, picked it up, put it right in. You know, uh, once again, Summit's pushing out, trying to get this ball back. Um, once again, they've just, uh, just their effort and team play today has just been, just been phenomenal. Coach, this is reminiscent. Last year they played Don Box go in uh, the States here. And they jumped out to a 12 nothing lead against the Ironmen, who were scoring 15 goals a game. I didn't think they could play much better than they did that day, but boy, today's effort's pretty darn close. Yeah, and, I, and that, it's, it started at the X. They've won almost every faceoff. Uh, that, that you know, that was something that I thought when I was watching the early parts of this game that really stood out for me is that the, those those faceoffs kind of started. The, they really set the tone um, for the day. Right, every they're getting those loose balls to start. Um, just uh, those things tend to uh, continue through a game when you start that way. And also in the first quarter, Summit had some great chances, and Roki yeah. made three or four sparklers. Yeah, I'd say between those loose balls and uh, you know the, the, the goalie for, for for Del Barton um, were, the, were the difference here today. And, and then uh, after, after that, obviously Del Barton's tacked on, and and uh, you know, but Roki in that first quarter set the tone, no big doubt. time. No doubt, no doubt, a big time player. Yes, just, he once is. Once again, the, the quickness to the ball, his his movement towards the ball, just just really impressive to watch. Um, you see a lot of goalies that let the ball play him sometimes. He he is not one of those goalies. No. He's attacking. He'll be heading to Lafayette. He committed to play there. Another just program that's up on the rise um, that we've seen in the past couple of years. And Coach Myers is doing a great job there. Summit gets the turnover. Good job there. Summit's going to play right to the end. They're you play for Jim Davidson, you play hard, as Coach said. And they would love to get a goal before this one's over. This is Daniel Flame, dumps it back to the side. On the doorstep, shot, and a save by Roki. It's loose. Oh, they had a great chance there, James Granger. And Del Barton will get it, and they'll probably try to run out this last 54 if they can get the, past the ride here. He got a little bit of a piece and a little bit of help from the pipe there. Yes, uh, he did. Had a couple of those days for, for Summit today, and... Yeah, uh, you get a couple of those that hit the pipe. Yeah, it could be a little bit of a different game, but um, once again, just an incredible effort here today by Del Barton. But okay. you know, someone's going to play this out. Yes, they want to get a goal. They don't want to go home without a goal. There's a guy who can do it too, Daniel Flame. And another great job. Well, if you want to find out who our player of the game is, you have to go to our big state sports social media. And I have a pretty good idea who we're going to pick, Coach. We can't say it now because that's what we call a tease in the business. 
So seven seconds to go. So congratulations to Del Barton. A dominant eight nothing win against one of the best teams in the state of New Jersey in Summit as they get the shutout and they will charge out and congratulate Roki who did a great job as they will move now to four and one, one and oh in the Fitch Pit. Summit will fall to three and two, one and two in the Fitch Pit. Matt, great job. We hope to have you on again soon. It was a lot of fun doing the game with you, Coach. Thanks, Dan. I really appreciate it. I had a blast here today. Just uh, any, any time that you can watch these two great programs play, it's, uh, it's a treat uh, for everybody. It's like watching a college game. It really is. I was talking to Jim and, and, and Matt before the game, and we were talking a little bit about that, how, how, how loaded both teams are, and it's you, – you're like what you're watching. You're watching a college game, basically. No uh, doubt. And they play like they're they're in college already. Uh, All right. So Barton doesn't get easier. They play Malvern Prep on Saturday, and then some of them play the team from Washington. Great job by the Big State Sports Production Crew. Chris producing. Paul up top. Great job by them. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon, live on the Big State Sports Network. <laughs> that on repeat when you talk about some good that's, defense that's for sure trying to get free shot and a goal and a rip there by Andrew Johnson and Del Barton has a 2-0 lead this game right now like they're double parked <laughs> just his first quarter is flying back up top hands free but he's gonna send it over to the wing bringing it in trying to dump it in a save by Roki Good attack there by Cole Sable. Basketball players are good lacrosse players because they can use their feet, and McGinty's a very good hoop player. Send it back up top, hands free, shot, saved by Rolke. Shades of what he did against Mountain Lakes. Second quarter faceoff brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. Trafford going against Welkis, and again, Del Belton wins on the doorstep. Stopped by Keith, it balls loose. And Keith early. So Summit will get it back, so no harm, no foul on that turnover. The Hilltoppers looking for their first goal to send it back to X. A little two-man game ripped and saved by Rolke. Luke Harris had hands free and Rolke. There for for uh, Summit on man down. Really rotated nicely. Didn't really get many opportunities on the inside, which is obviously something we'll have to take care of. Shot and another save. Roki been a wall here in the first and a good ground ball scooped up by Can't Chase Hauser. Can't have a problem with that shot. He shot it low, goalie's coming up big. Check that, that was Ryder with the ground ball, win 33. On the doorstep shot, goal! Del Barton, and with the goal, it's always big either, like you said, it's four goal lead or it's a three one game. Huge. Del Barton, good ball movement, but Good defense here by Summit. Hacking away there. John Connor a shot and a goal. And the Green Wave's patience pays off. They're up 4 0. Good patience, good look there from Will Pedicano. Shot saved by Kivit. And that will. A household name when it comes to Jersey lacrosse. If you're back, you know, living back in the 80s and 90s, right? Hands free, traffic with the rip. You're absolutely right. Mike Pound's doing the job. Hall of Famer too down there. Defense. Look at the slides. Shot a save by Rolke. When they do get a shot, Rolke's been there. He's been very impressive this whole game. Just attacking the ball. I was going to say, Guzmano you know. and Testa. Shot goal, five nothing, and that's Doyle. Take us through that, coach. We'll look at the replay. We'll win the ground ball. Keep it, we'll hustle back. What a sequence. A lot of hustle on both teams. Summit's gonna have to really dig deep here. Sartorius shot, goal! Weaved his way in, no one picked him up, and he dumps it in the back of the net. And it's, can't be understated what Coach Bill Tierney's done. I mean, what he did at Princeton, shot, goal! Great patience, and that's Tester with another goal. His eighth of the season and second of the game. They'll be in the, the Union County Championship game again. Probably see Westfield again. Shot saved by Kivit, and they'll be in the mix. Shot and another goal for Del Barton. That's fall. Yeah, I think, like I just said, those, those loose balls.